Here we're going to uh, complete the trimming of the torn and delaminated portions of the cartilage. So we essentially uh, trimmed the delaminated cartilage back to the point where the cartilage becomes stable again uh, using this uh, ring curette and using a shaver. So we'll create a, a margin of, uh, of stable cartilage. Many times this coincides with the amount of rim trimming that you plan to do. Uh, and in this case, uh, it looks like it will coincide. So when we trim the rim back, this bony area here, uh, it will be flush with the good cartilage down here. So here we'll begin our rim trimming. We do this with extensive fluoroscopic visualization and arthroscopic visualization so that we know we're trimming the correct amount of the rim. This is a uh, burr used for this purpose. And we've already decided based on our preoperative uh, radiographs and templating that we're going to trim about five to six millimeters of rim in the anterior superior quadrant. Uh, but we'll double check as we go with the fluoroscopy and ensure that we've eliminated the crossover sign and eliminated the anterolateral overhanging pincer lesion. So rim trimming, and we've gone through the whole anterior superior quadrant using the burr under fluoroscopic visualization, and we've created a nice uh, new rim to which we'll be able to reattach the labor.